All right. Before this video starts, I'm going to have to give this on my chest. <sighs> I got to say, it. Splatoon 2 is the biggest f***ing f fest I've ever f***ing seen. Ass licking mother f***ing piece of f***ing garbage f***ing trash ass crack eating f***ing garbage licking f***ing bullshit f***ing game I've ever f***ing played. <sighs> Anyways, uh, yeah. Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to be talking about my gripes with the game Nintendo loves to ignore, Splatoon 2. Let's get the show on the road. Let's start with number one, Turf War. Turf War, uh, sucks. I can't, do I need to say anything more? Turf War is very, 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 very stale. You could play like three games of Turf War that could last you, like, let's be fair, like, 13 minutes and you'd be like yeah that's that's enough for me maybe another like version of turf war i don't know just do something with turf war man it sucks number two the communication wheel this communication wheel is terrible like really this is this is the best you have name any other multiplayer game and it will have quadruple the amount of communications in the communication wheel nintendo are you serious right now what even is this number three there's no casual setting to any of the competitive game modes so i'm gonna name each casual game mode in splatoon all right we have turf war and oh uh, that's it now let's name all the competitive game modes all right we have rainmaker uh clam blitz uh splat zones and tower control all right, how much? Oh, that's four. That's actually a decent amount. Are there any casual settings to those ranked game? Oh, there's not. Seriously, the fact that Turf War is the only casual game mode is pathetic. More people casually play a multiplayer game than competitively. So you want to have a big branch of casual game modes for people to play. If they would have made casual settings for all the competitive game modes that would have fixed the whole casual turf war stale garbage because you're not having one casual game mode you're having five. Oh, there's kind of like that in league mode but you have to invite players and i'm not really into that social thing you know number four clam rush clam blitz whatever don't even care what it's called oh clam blitz sucks i i uh it was my first four way into competitive splatoon i hated it it was so bad literally like nothing happened until overtime and like the map i was using on it was like that one under the bridge oh my god it was so boring now i just don't play competitive splatoon anymore because it's just oh my god <laughs> what number five the news segment why 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 have this for th this no no no. At least things like the news broadcast you're forced to watch in Splatoon, that may be annoying, but makes sense in the context of the game's world. Oh, f*** that. The news segment is so freaking annoying. I don't care that you say, oh, it makes sense in the context of the- Shut the heck up, dude. It's annoying. I routinely just tap the A button, and guess what? That takes me like 30 seconds. That's my valuable time that you're wasting, okay? That's my time that you're wasting. Stop with this new segment. Add a freaking skip button. I hate it. Number six. There's not a lot of interesting weapons. There are a lot of weapons in this game. But half of which are freaking decoys. Does every gun need an alternate version? No, dude. Who's gonna buy that? Why is there so much weapons? And half of them just are terrible. Just freaking duplicate guns. Why are there so many of them? Good God. Number seven. The game is way too grindy. This is probably the most grindy multiplayer game I've ever played in my life. It takes so long for you to level up. I've played like dozens of games and only leveled up once. That's not the only thing that's grindy. Getting like ability chunks, ranking up in Salmon Run. Ugh. Number eight, splat fests are not fun at all. This is what Nintendo advertises Splatfest as.
And this is what they actually are. Half of the time you're doing the Splatfest, you're in the lobby trying to find somebody. You probably won't even find players from the opposing team. Is it really that hard to find people from the opposing team? No, it's not. Now we're going to get into the Salmon Run portion. Number 9, Marooner's Bay. Marooner's Bay is the worst map in Salmon Run, and that's not even an opinion. That's a fact. This map is horrid. You know the quote unquote best and most efficient way to get to your basket? Those stupid wind turbine platforms. I couldn't even tell you how much times I've lost games because of that stupid platform. And like the C section, so freaking skinny. Like what? <laughs> this map is terrible. I hate it so much. Number 10, stupid bosses. Most of the bosses and Salmon Run are gonna get on your freaking nerves. The worst ones are definitely the Steel Eel, the Flyfish, and the stupid Drizzler. All three of them can go to heck. They'll just ruin your day. They go, I'm a stinger. Pew, 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 pew. I, I shot you from across the map. Hee. Number 11, stupid game modes. The main ones I hate the most are Rush, Griller, and High Tide. If these game modes weren't in the game, I'd win every single salmon run game i have ever played they can kill your game kill your run kill your run streak kill everything you have number 12 stupid guns that you're forced to use whenever you look at what weapons are available for salmon run you go i can use that i can use that i can use that and then the last one is always the one that makes you go oh god Nintendo knows what guns you like and don't like, and they'll give you the ones they, that you don't like, 100%. Some of the worst ones are the Dynamo Roller and any Umbrella. An Umbrella? Are you kidding me? Really? An Umbrella? Why? Number 13, Stupid Teammates. Another reason why you might lose Salmon Run games is that you're matched with someone that doesn't know basic human functions like, I don't know, pushing the A button or pushing the trigger buttons. And guess what? There's no report option. A guy can literally go AFK and suicide. And guess what? You can't do anything about it. Oh, you want to report that player? You, you, can't, you can't. You can report their Miiverse post though. And the last one is number 15, your pay cut. This, this pay cut thing? What? Why? What? Why? I'm going to give you an example. I won one game of Salmon Run, got like 73 eggs, increased my pay by 20. The next game, I get Griller first round, full team wipe, it cuts my pay by 20. What? Like 50% of the time, my pay gets cut, it's not for the right reason. Grizzler goes, you lost, F yourself, gives you the finger, and cuts your pay. That's literally how it is, and it's terrible. Anyways, uh, Splatoon, it's definitely a flawed game i wouldn't say that i never had fun with the game but yeah this nintendo needs to know how to fix their games honestly especially multiplayer games like guys come on you don't want this franchise to die don't you listen to the community stop sleeping i know corona's got you but guess what you're freaking back on track this year so get it together man or else i'll freaking send a steel to freaking nintendo hq don't make me do it